Hey everyone, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about pyrosequencing. Pyrosequencing is a sequencing technique in which incorporation of DNTPs in the DNA is detected in the form of light. Let's see the concept of pyrosequencing. When DNTP is added on the template DNA, pyrophosphate is released. This pyrophosphate can be converted into ATP by the enzyme ATP sulfurylase. The ATP can be further utilized by luciferase enzyme to generate light. This is the same enzyme that generates light in fireflies. Along with ATP as an energy source, the luciferase also uses oxygen and luciferin as a substrate. Now here comes an interesting question. Addition of any DNTPs, A, T, G or C, will generate pyrophosphate. So the question is, how do we detect which nucleotide is added? Well, to solve this problem, the reaction is carried out in a flow cell where only one DNTP is added at a time. The flow cell is controlled by the computer which knows which DNTP is added. Now because the reagents are coming in and out of the flow cell, the template DNA can be easily flushed out of the cell. To avoid this, the template DNA is immobilized on a bead which remains in the flow cell. Also, there are many copies of the same template DNA generated by the PCR. Because of this, when DNTP is added, large number of pyrophosphate is released. Hence, the light produced will be intense and easily detected by the sensors. If DNTP is not incorporated, no light is detected. Hence, the sequence information of the DNA can be easily obtained by detecting the light. It should be noted that there can be unused DNTP in the flow cell. This unused DNTP is removed by a pyrase enzyme. The more advanced pyrosequencing also allows sequencing of different template in the single run. For this purpose, the beads having different template DNA are kept in a picotiter plate. All the template DNA are PCR amplified and immobilized on a single bead. Each well of the picotiter plate will have a single bead with many copies of the template DNA. The picotiter plate is then kept in a flow cell while the reagents are added and flushed.